Hey guys! Alright folks, we're here today to check out a band called Vorga. We discovered this band at Inferno this year. We're here to check out their music video, The Sophist. The Sophist. I don't know. Whatever. The Swoftest? Swoftest. Uh, so anyhow, we discovered the band there. I saw them perform. I was blown away. I had never heard of them before. Uh, we actually interviewed them on the channel uh, while we were there. Uh, one of the guys was kind enough to come on and to talk about the band and, and their performance and all of that. And uh, when I was talking to them, I discovered that the reason why they played at Inferno was because they were sent there by Summer Breeze. Uh, and, and they have an exchange program where they send the band over to each other's <laughs> festivals. Not to undermine the festival, but like, hey, we have a band that we think would be really popular at Summer Breeze. We'll send them there. We have a band at Summer Breeze that played here this year that we think would be really good for Inferno. We send them there. They kind of do that thing. I, I think it's super cool. It is very cool. I think more festivals should do that. And and to be, I agree. And to be honest with you, after seeing these guys live, they totally fit the Inferno vibe. Totally, like totally. So this to me was perhaps one of my main discoveries at uh, at Inferno from the bands that I had never even heard before to go there and discover them. I think this was uh, this was it, it's up there, up there. Them in in uh, Carpathian Forest. I had never heard of them oh, either, the but uh, anybody that sells butt plugs uh, <laughs> as merch uh, has my vote for whatever it is that they want to do next. So, um, are, are you ready? Yeah.
What happens next? That's what I would like to know. The what 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 was she looking at? Oh, this uh, this um. B basically, she traveled to another planet because she had these two stones, these two little tablets. I don't know, she looked like she was on like some Star Wars planet. No, she was looking for New York post 9-11. You saw the, the, the light beam into the sky, representing one of the towers? Okay. So they didn't have enough budget but for the two. they were playing Minecraft and... For the two beacon, towers. But okay. So, uh, uh, anyhow, um, the, the video... The video is excellent. I, I, I gotta say, for all jokes aside, the video is excellent. Uh... But it's just kind of like... It leaves you in a what the fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Almost like when I got high and watched Prometheus. <clears throat> Which I watched like five times because I kept forgetting on how I got to where I got. It's like, how did we get here again? Let me rewind to the last thing I remember. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. I hate that scene. And then I got back to that same point. It's like, fuck, I'm here again. And I don't remember how I got here. Let me rewind again to the last point where I remember. I think I did that five times. I, I Until I gave up and I just watched Prometheus the next day. I remember uh, I, I, ate, I ate mushrooms and uh, I watched... Uh, I watched... I was trying... I'm like, okay, I'll watch, I'll watch a show. I'll watch a brand new show. The episode finished. I'm like, I don't remember what happened. So then I went back, the same thing, and I watched the same first episode, like, five times, and then I moved on to the second episode, did the same thing, and then I just, I quit. All right. I just couldn't do it. Maybe I need to do that when I'm watching a Cat Williams special, because I don't find them funny. So maybe if I'm high, I find it, like, more appealing. I don't know. No, because then you just get lost. Like, why is everyone laughing? That, that don't, like... Yeah. Like, that's weird. Why is one of the little Johnsons uh, on stage? Why is he humping a chair on the floor? Yeah. He always does that Why shit. Why is always saying pussy? I don't know. I'll tell you what, baby. You got some good pussy to that, baby. That's all he does. That's all he does. It's like he's got one one line. Uh, anyhow, uh, moving and on I from that. the Lord Jesus that, you know, pussy comes to me, but when pussy comes to me, it does not go to you, baby. Like, he does that shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, I don't know. That, that guy. Uh, that anyhow. guy, uh... Something else. Uh, uh, he's funny in movies, but he's not. His stand up is not funny. It's like, not, a, anyways. I, like, I used to hold him in the same ranks as Chappelle, but then I got older. Dude, are you kidding me? And then me? I got older, and I'm like, no, he's nowhere near. He's not even next to Andrew Schultz. Like, he's not even. He's not even. He, he, he cannot even tie Shane Gillis' shoes. Shane Gillis' shoes. <laughs> Fuck, never mind that. And for those of oh, you watching this, it has nothing to do with color. I, I'm color, I, I don't see color. I only see jokes. <laughs> I only, I only see, see jokes. jokes. And, and his don't hit. Yeah, Fuck, he can't even he can't even tie Jeff Dunham's shoes. Muppets. Muppets, yeah. <laughs> even Jeff Dunham is funnier. Fuck. <clears throat> Anyhow. Um, it's funny, you said something about race and then I named another white comedian. <laughs> yeah, anyhow. Harry uh, Spears. Uh, well, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Uh, even the... Um, that dude from that does the the Hannibal. No, the the oh. dude that does the uh, the news segment on Saturday Night Live. There's oh, a white guy Ch in the uh, Chase. Yeah, he's yeah, funny. He's funny. I like him. I think he's funny. I, I don't know if his stand up would be good, but like I mean, he's funny in the character, I've like heard, in the role I, that I, he plays. I've seen, yeah, he's good. He's Just good. because you're good at 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 roles playing roles in movies doesn't mean you're good at stand up. Like yeah. stand up is, is like I don't see it's not for everybody. I, Kevin I don't, Hart's stand up is pretty good, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Like, really good. Like I don't see myself as uh, if I was to do like like something funny or whatever. Stand up would not be it. But if I was like doing um, what's it called? Uh, Improv? Improv. I think I'd be good at improv. Yeah. See, and people who are good at improv are not necessarily are not necessary, good at... Uh, but people who are good at improv are also probably good at acting. Yeah, what, what's that, the name of the, the the guy from the improv show that was hosting the Price is Right? The black guy, I can't remember his name. No. Anyways, he's good at improv, know. I don't know. but I'm sure his stand-up is shit, but uh, I don't even know if he does stand-up. Well, uh, anyhow. You said Price is Right, but then all I'm thinking about is when you said stand-up too, I thought about uh, Steve Harvey. Because he does, uh, what's it called? Family Feud. Family f he's good at Family Feud. I don't but know he had stand-up. Stand I don't, I don't know about his stand-up, though. But he Anyhow. had hair when he had stand-up. Yeah. Stand All right, so moving on from that, I got to... How did we get on this, anyways? So, um... I don't fucking know. All I know is that uh, the, the, the lady, when she got to the shore, after crashing her spaceship into the water, she was like... Where's my credit cards? Where's my wallet? <laughs> and then she had her makeup kit. Every time she was walking around, uh, she was looking at herself. 
Uh, typical. You're in the desert, almost dying of thirst, and you're still caring about your makeup. A anyhow. <laughs> so, moving on from that, I honestly really enjoyed the video. I typical. Just... You you watch a shore on some random island, and the first thing you do is, where's my wallet? My keys? Is my phone here? My credit card, because you know for everything else, there's MasterCard. <laughs> so it's like, fuck. Do they accept it here? Fuck, do I have signal? Can I call fucking State Farm? Or Uber. Or Uber? <laughs> Can I get an Uber to take me to the dark side of the I don't know, I feel like State Farm gets there faster than Uber. Probably, probably. So anyhow, uh, I like the video. I just want to know where the fuck this was going at the end. It's like leaves us on a massive cliff cliffhanger. But uh, but let's talk about the song, musically. I, I That riff... Oh, and by the way, did you like the visuals of the guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't know if you were there with me when they played. I don't think you were. I don't remember. I don't think I'm not going to lie. I think the, it was me and Thorsten. Do you I think? think? Yeah. Because that, that uh, John D venue, I, I, I think I only went, went down there for Mantar. Um, Crypta? Crypta, yeah. And that's not a band. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm trying to remember now. I can't even remember. But anyways, I thought it was me and Thorsten. I thought it was me. Because he's the one that, that, that got me going. I was like, I don't want to go see these guys. I've never heard of them. He goes, exactly, let's go, let's go see. Yeah. So I think, I think it was me and Thorsten. went to the bar after that uh, and saw that other band. Yeah, we saw, I can't even remember, something American, something. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. whatever. Anyhow, it's neither here nor there. Um... Uh, so, like, I like their look, and the video was good sound wise. I love that. Dur -nur -nur, dur -nur -nur. I love that riff. It's just so. Uh, it, it reminds me. Uh, I can't. I can't think of of the band right now, but it reminds me of a band that that I like, and, and it's it's a riff that it's an earworm, and it doesn't matter if they play it a lot. Even though in the song, in this song, they didn't really overplay it as much as like other bands would. But it, it does have the sound to be an overplayed riff, yet doesn't feel overplayed. It has that sound to it, but they didn't overplay it in the song. Um, it's I, I don't know, man. It's just so. Da, 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 what would I find? I what, love that shit. What would I find? Not just with this song, but the songs that I heard them play at the venue at the show. I, I find that they have this lingering atmosphere in their music it's almost like this the 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 notes carry on a little bit further the atmosphere and that atmosphere reminds me a lot of rotting christ in terms of how their songs the atmosphere kind of lingers beyond the notes and these guys kind of have like on the back end of their sound they have a little bit of that more atmospheric essence of of rotting christ i'm not saying they sound they don't sound nothing like rotting christ what i'm saying is that the s at the essence of their sound the way if you look at both bands when they're playing the atmospheric part on the back end of their sound mm -hmm. is very similar from these uh, on these guys as it is uh, in Rotting Christ. At least it gives me that same vibe, like this really like somber, almost like you're watching like this. You're watching a sci-fi thing, and it's like really creepy, and you're not quite sure maybe what's happening what in is, the though. back end. But, maybe it, but it's in the back end. Maybe that's the band I'm most thinking about is Rotting Christ. But I'm thinking about it because as, th that atmosphere on Rotting Christ on the back end allows the front end to be very repetitive um, as well. That and then the 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 that whole segment of, of guitar it does remind me of Rotten Christ because it's very it has a uh, when that finishes and then goes it's drawn out mm -hmm. and they do a lot of those very big riffs that are drawn out. It, it, yeah, it's just that Rotten Christ creates that atmosphere. Rotten Christ sound is a little bit more open. At least yeah, on the yeah, new yeah. record is a little bit more open, but I find that these guys on the forefront they sound more like a traditional uh, black metal band, but they integrate some of those more atmospheric elements that we see traditionally yeah, in yeah, Rod yeah. and Christ on the back end. So they're like a band that has almost brings in two different styles of black metal, two different influences of black metal, and kind of creates their their own little experience and their own little sound, which is really cool, which at the end of the day, that's what you want. You don't yeah, want to sound like the like next guy. Movie. You just want to sound like yourself. Exactly. And, and that's what captivated me when I saw them live, because when I saw them live, you don't have this video playing in the background. You just have the guys playing with all these LEDs that have the tons of LEDs, uh, which gives you this very futuristic uh aspect so i thought it was really interesting because what they're doing is they're creating a black metal sound but they're making it sci-fi which when you think of black metal you don't think sci-fi you tend to think like religious stuff or demonic stuff or the devil like it, it tends to be a little bit more uh earthbound mm -hmm. you know black metal tends to be a little bit more earthbound these guys are taking black metal into a sci-fi realm but now, if you if you are big in sci-fi movies, I mentioned Prometheus earlier. Man, those movies are totally black metal. Like, if you can create a really good 
black metal sounding uh, sound with, with atmosphere, like the way this song is, you can insert this shit on almost every single uh, horror sci-fi, not just sci-fi, but because Star Trek is not gonna work, but like horror sci-fi, you know, like Alien, uh, Prometheus, you know, that kind of shit. If you include this in that, it works perfectly because it, it does have that atmospheric back end that works really well with that sort of thriller, horror, sci-fi feel. And then that black metal up front really creates a sense of darkness and a sense of creepiness that also works really well with those movies. Because half of the time you're watching those movies, you don't know how people are dying. You just know people are dying. And it's always like really creepy shit. Mm -hmm. And you don't, just don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? Like they have like worms rounding around in their eyes and shit like that. You know, next thing you know, one of them is a robot and, you know, and shit goes sideways. And there's chicken. Chicken? Robot chicken. Oh. That's why. So anyhow, I, I really enjoyed watching these guys live and I really enjoyed listening to this song and watching <coughs> this video. I, I like this shit. <clears throat> like I said, it's very untraditional for, for a black metal sounding band to go with, with a sci-fi look and to go with a sound that really matches this horror sci-fi thriller yeah, yeah. sort of scenario. All of their songs are similar to this in terms of the vibe, and I really like it. I think it's different. It's unique. Yeah, because we've 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 stated it before, like black like black metal, black metal. Uh, at least for me, it's not my favorite. But anytime you can, anytime you can mix spice it, it up with something, yeah, yeah. Anytime you know, you can... I like my I don't like my black metal. Uh, I like my black metal like I like my coffee. You know, mixed with shit inside. I don't like it. Yeah, like with three creams, three sugars, or. That's a lot of cream and a lot of sugar. But yeah. yeah. At that point, it's not even black anymore. Uh, no, at that point, it's not even <laughs> coffee anymore. Uh, at that point, it's kind of milk. <clears throat> it's just drinking milk You're or just cream. Making, yeah, yeah. Just drinking cream. Uh, anyhow, I really enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? I did. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Go check them out on the social medias. Uh, I believe they're from Germany, but one of the guys is not quite from Germany, but I believe the band, majority of, of them are, are German, and therefore, they played at Summer Breeze. I'm not saying Summer Breeze only plays German bands, but... They do play quite a bit of German bands. I mean, they are in Germany. So. They are the Germans. Yeah, that's, that's very good. That's yes. very alto. All right, on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you all at the next one. See ya.